Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we are, FCS playoffs, the first round. Predictions, preview, got all that good stuff for you. Um, we're going to start off from, you know, from all the way down to the up here, you know. First off, we have Holy Cross taking on the number one seed, South Dakota State. I don't think, there's only a couple games that I think will be close, if we're being completely honest with you. Um... I don't think, I don't think Holy Cross is going to do anything special. I mean, again, I did see them last week. Final, finally, finally, a game where you know I could see on an actual network for the first time last week. I don't think Holy Cross, the Patriot League champs, are going to get very far. I think they will lose in the first round. Sacred Heart, they do have one of the best running backs in the country. I've been talking about him the entire season, Julius Chest Nut. And, you know, that Delaware defense that they are going to take on is very stingy. So, again, I don't think this game will be close either. Um, Delaware is only allowing, what, 11 points per game? 11.6 points per game. They're only allowing 11.6 points per game. And that is a recipe for disaster for teams like Sacred Heart that can run the ball up and down the field, you know, and try to get points. One of the biggest surprises of the season is those VMI Kedets. One of the best stories this entire spring. It's a shame they're going up against an angry, we're talking an angry James Madison, who is stuck, you know, as the number three seed instead of potentially the number one, as they have been ranked number one the entire season. But, I mean, the Dukes, they have some, you know, they have some big wins. They finally got a little bit more impressive. <clears throat> they got to send a message. They have to send a message. And they they have to send a message. Those, those James Madison Dukes do. But VMI can throw the ball up and down the field. I know they lost their, I know the key that's lost their quarterback. But they have another one. They have another one. I forgot his name. It's all, it, it was off the top of my head. I forgot his name, but you know, James Madison, be prepared to play. I think this game will be a lot closer than people indicate. I don't know if James Madison will move on. They've, they've struggled at times. They really have. What about Davidson? How about the option, baby? Oh, boy, do you love the option? Because I certainly do. You know, it, it's going to be interesting to see how Jacksonville State, you know, hangs up with that. You know, but again... Again, it could be, you know, a mismatch. I mean, Jacksonville State is allowing 81 yards rushing per game. Oof. Oof right there. So, Davids, you might have to throw the ball out there. You might have to throw a ball out there against JSU. Here's a game that's really a, you know, a wishy-washy type thing. It could be either be the, it could either be this team or, you know, some people could potentially pick the favorite. But, really, it could be interesting if you pick... The other dog, and that is Monmouth, the Monmouth Hawks, baby, the Big South champs, who have beaten Kennesaw State. You know, just beaten them twice in the past few years. And you know, last time they went to the playoffs, they got hammered by JMU. But Sam Houston, you know, they are an interesting two seed. They've been, you know, the Southland has been like the Big Twelve. They've been scoring points up and down the field. I think this will this game, like a lot of people have said, this game will be very competitive. Very competitive game, you know. Don't forget Sam Houston's run defense. I think they can run the ball, you know, very well. Again, I think I think they can stop the run very well. And Bodmuff is another team that's you know heavy on the run. And I think, you know, again, this is going to be a great matchup. This is going to be a great matchup right here, these two teams. I don't, again, I don't think it will be like last year where James Madison blew Monmouth out the water. I think this game will be a lot closer. I honestly want Monmouth to win this game, you know, just for Southland choking, you know. Just for the Southland Conference choking, in a way. But... Moving on to the five teams in the bracket for the Missouri Valley. How about Southern Illinois? Southern Illinois is, you know, that is going to be very interesting to see what they do against Weaver State. 
You know, Weber State has limped to this playoff. They have limped to this playoff, honestly. They've looked bad. They've looked awful. I mean, they somehow, you know, they, they, they don't have a seed. You know, they've been ranked, like, what, number one and number two all year, but they didn't get a seed. Those Weber State Wildcats didn't. They didn't get a seed at all. So, this one's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, and I think it'll be a great opportunity for Southern Illinois to prove themselves on the field, you know, against the big-time opponent, you know. But the Wildcats, the Wildcats don't lose in their stadium, so the Salukis of Southern Illinois better be prepared. They don't lose in their stadium. You know, I mean, again, glad for Southern Illinois. They got a big victory, you know, last weekend, Southeast Louisiana. But now they gotta do it again. They gotta do another big time game again. They gotta get. They gotta just keep on the momentum. They have to keep it up, and hopefully, you know, things don't go as bad as I think it does. Missouri State going up to North Dakota. North Dakota again was the surprise for the first half of the season. Really strong team for the first half. Of course, you know, COVID canceled a lot of their games in the second half of the season, but they were very strong until they lost to North Dakota State. And again, this one is going to be one hell of a matchup. Going to be one hell of a matchup. You know, originally this game was actually supposed to be what last weekend, but no, nah, it didn't happen. It did not happen. You know. So, Missouri State, what they have to do is they have to, you know, they have to bring it their all. They have to bring their all against North Dakota. And North Dakota, same thing. You know, they haven't, they haven't really played any games in about a month or so, you know, but they got to they gotta bring their A game. They got to get it back. Got to get it back in the stream. And, you know, get that momentum going to where you can go all the way to the championship to the FCS championship in Frisco. So hopefully we get a game well worth, you know, well worth of our time. And last but not least, Eastern Washington, you know, you know, going up against North Dakota State. Crazy stuff, right? You know, North Dakota State's not seeded. North Dakota State, you know, hasn't had good quarterback play, especially from Zeb Nolan. You know, the guy that they were touting up to be, you know, the next big thing, you know, after Trey Lance, you know, left at the one game. And that's what, you know, that, that's that been the biggest storyline the entire, one of the biggest storylines the entire season in the FCS is Trey Lance, you know, just leaving at the one game and going off to the NFL draft. going to be, going to be interesting to see how North Dakota State does against Eastern Washington. Eastern Washington is a Damn good team. Damn good team. You know. Eric Berrier, mobile quarterback for Eastern Washington. And that's the kind of thing that gives North Dakota State a little bit of trouble. And North Dakota State has had some trouble this season. Again, they've lost twice this year, two times. That's a rarity around these parts. It's a rarity. You know, that hasn't happened since what, 2015? Yeah. It hasn't happened since 2015, in which North Dakota State has lost twice. So they need to get it together. If you want to, if you want that ninth title in ten years, you better get it together. Otherwise, you're taking that L, and you're going to the L train, and you're getting out of the playoffs. So I believe this game is supposed to be in the Fargo Dome. I, I thought it was supposed to be in Eastern Washington, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I'm thinking. If you are watching, you know, hopefully you have ESPN3 and stuff like that, you know, get your streaming devices ready. Because I don't have my streaming devices ready, but the Eastern Washington North Dakota State game is going to be very interesting. The Missouri State North Dakota game is going to be very interesting. Southern Illinois Missouri State game is going to be very interesting. And the Monmouth Sam Houston State game is going to be one hell of a matchup. And remember, that bottom half of the bracket is just loaded. You know, very loaded. It, it, you know, it, it could be a dogfight to get to the championship in the bottom half of the bracket. You know, the teams that aren't seeded, stuff like that, going to be one hell of a bloodbath down there. And especially these four games that I just said, you know, that I just named off. 
those are going to be four good ass games right there. The other four I don't think will be as good. I think they might be blowouts, but you know, it is what it is. So that's going to do it. Um, this video will be premiering tomorrow. So there you go. And that that that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say about, you know, the FCS um, first round of the playoffs. The round of 16, the Sweet 16, or whatever you may call it. And if you enjoyed, like, share, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell to get more notifications about, you know, when my videos are dropping. Because this one will be a premiered video. It will premiere in about 12 hours or so. A little bit under 12 hours. You know what I mean. You know. If you know when these videos premiere, you know. So, again, just set a reminder for when this video does come up. Get in the chat, you know, maybe correct me on something a little bit. And, you know, just let's just have fun with this, you know. As usual. See ya, everybody.